he's using his father as a canvas believe me dad so yeah. i can believe it myself how to make people believe when we tell them something contradicting to their belief he gives an example he says today i told my papa about an event in indian history that hmm. was just made up to popularize colonialism and earn people's trust but he just disagreed without thinking hmm. so how do you make people at least think and then respond or disagree the funniest part about questions of this nature is that they're always in relation to family or very close friends or romantic partners because the only hmm. people you care to convince of otherwise is people that are close to you First of all there is many layers to this question this on the spiritual layer your exercise is futile let me begin with that even if you convince them they will never be convinced exactly you will always find the delta between what you wanted to say and they understood and the dissatisfaction remains on a spiritual plane mm. the attempt itself the urge the instinct the desire to convince somebody else of something is on a spiritual plane flawed on a spiritual plane i'm not talking psychological okay. philosophical and so on right okay. firstly secondly how are you so sure you also only heard or read how are you so sure your father must be convinced of otherwise why this is a general idea um, in psychology called hyder's lay balance theory Achha. which wants that your mind it desires to be balanced how say for instance i am friends with phil yeah phil hates ash my mind will automatically create aversion towards ash because it needs to be balanced how can i also like ash and phil when phil hates ash oh, if i like phil and phil likes ash i automatically like ash uh -huh. there is a need for this kind of balance and very often this need to convince my father of my belief comes from this need to establish balance in your head first of all you have to understand on a psychological level this time you have to understand in a closed room between two people there is no such thing as the truth then what is it's a negotiation okay. you have to negotiate with the other person yeah. you have to figure out which version of truth to borrow from each other's versions of truth and construct a commonly acceptable version of truth mm. so on a very fundamental psychological level reality is established through agreement that's why we crave agreement so much okay. what this guy is trying to do in some on some level uh. is trying to establish what he thinks of the world is right and he is using his father okay if i put it harshly yeah to make that point to himself he is using his father as a canvas believe me dad so yeah. i can believe it myself now about what this person must do why i began with the spiritual yeah. plane is because that is where you must this person whoever this guy is mm. should begin to first get rid of the need to convince because that is your number one obstacle in actually trying to convince your father because you want him convinced so bad you will not be an honest person in the argument mm. i write about this in don't shut up as well okay first of all understand where he is coming from you cannot dismantle an argument without understanding the argument and the place it's coming from Okay. notice what is the underlying belief underlying need for your dad to believe what he does and then try to play around with this okay. now the underlying belief could be or the underlying need could be the fact that he's grown up with that his world view is based on that fact right. so what you are really saying is you think dad can you not change this little fact about you you know this little thing you believe but what oh. that might mean is that his whole world has to change instantly his entire conception of india's history might have to change instantly right. so you right. have to be very tactful mm. very crafty very slow very patient with that change mm. and why do you think one conversation is going to change anything this is the process like your father took 18 years to make you the man you are today yeah you think you can change him in one conversation he is your father yeah. he spent twice as much time being convinced of him of his own self mm. that's at least what i've learned from my father <laughs> like i'm not changing the man for shit <laughs> yeah he's changing me however like you know if you haven't liked this channel if you haven't subscribed to this shit if you haven't checked out my youtube if you haven't checked out my instagram if you haven't checked out my tiktok if you haven't checked out the dark corners of my mind and if you're interested in my only fans follow us on any of these platforms dm us comment let us know what you think let us know what you'd like to hear ask us more questions whenever you want i'll make sure ash records this more often than we than we have been up until beyond that the books out I think at the point that this episode release you guys have the books in your hand tell me what do you think of the book